Hello, I'm Alex. It's nice seeing you back on our channel. Today we will cover some basics regarding Forex trading. If you're not that familiar with how Forex works, candlestick charts, supply, demand, support or resistance, stick around. I'll also show you some neat chart patterns that you can use in your trading right away to improve your forecasting skills and to make you a profitable trader. Let's start with the beginning. So what is Forex and how it works? So how do you actually make money from trading? To make this as clear as possible, I'll give you an, a simple and clear example of how it works. So uh, let's say you ask me to lend you 100 bucks. I expect that you will pay me back the exact amount tomorrow. Now you have my $100 and based on some technical analysis that you did or based on some important upcoming news, you reach the conclusion that uh, let's say the Japanese yen will be strong in the following period. Based on this, you convert my $100 into Japanese yens at the current rate. A few hours pass and uh, this happens. At this point, you take your Japanese yen and exchange it back to dollars and you notice that you actually have more than 100. You send my $100 back, making us even, and the extra is yours. Congratulations, you just made your first profitable trade. In uh, this example, I was basically describing a short or sell position on the US dollar Japanese pair. I say dollar Japanese yen because the first currency, the dollar, is the reference and the way the yen reacts dictates the chart's direction. If the yen is strong, the chart goes down, and if it's weak, the chart goes up. The chart is just a way to document and analyze past price action in order for you to make better decisions. Each candle shows the evolution of a currency pair in a certain time frame. You can select one day candles, meaning that all the price changes that occur in that day are materialized in only one candle and to continue all the way down to the one minute chart, meaning that each candle that appears represents one minute of price action. Each candle is made of candle body and the wicks, which tell you the fact that price was in that area, but uh, while the candle was still forming, depending on your selected time frame, of course, it left that area. We will learn how to use wicks to our advantage soon enough. Uh, moving on, what's the first thing that you notice while looking at this chart? Can you notice that price constantly reacts to certain points or values? These are called support and resistance zones and we use them on a daily basis to make informed decisions while trading. So let's talk about support and resistance. To put it simple, if the price goes down and reacts to a certain area and it starts reversing, that area is called the price support area. On the flip side, if the price goes up and reverses, it may have hit a price resistance area. Support and resistance areas can be used for entries, exits and managing your stop losses. Uh, please notice that I use the term area and not a certain value. To remember this, I make a fun analogy. I basically look at support and resistance zones as belly fat. You see where it starts, but you can put your finger through it up to a certain point. If, you, if you're not yet grossed out, let's extrapolate and cover another popular analysis technique used in day trading, supply and demand. As you probably know, supply and demand are the heart of the economy. While looking at the charts, we can identify supply and demand zones as being periods of sideways price action that come after explosive price moves. So if the impulse is down, we can identify a demand zone, meaning that the price is low and therefore the demand is high and we may soon witness a surge in price. On the flip side, if the impulse is up, we identify a supply zone, meaning that the supply is way greater than the demand and we may expect a reduction in the price. Supply and demand zones are used in trading almost the same as support and resistance, meaning that you can set stop losses or entries based on them. Now that we covered these terms, you are ready to learn some chart patterns that usually signal a movement of price that you can take advantage of. Okay, candlestick patterns. Let's split this uh, section into three parts. The first category is the single candlestick pattern. In this case, only one candle can signal a trend shift. Uh, note that the more candlesticks are in the pattern, the more reliable that pattern usually is. This is the bullish hammer and uh, it's a green candle that has a small body, no wick at the top and a large wick at the bottom. It usually comes after an impulse down and it signals a price reversal. Its evil brother is the shooting star. If you see this candle after a surge in price, you most likely will witness a descent and you are best to find yourself in a short position. 
uh, if you see something like this, this is called the doji candle. Its small body and the large wicks, both up and down, signal indecision and you are most likely to find yourself in a ranging market in the following period. As opposed to the shooting star or the hammer, this candle signals a slowdown in momentum rather than a reversal. Okay, now let's add one more candle and talk about the bullish and bearish engulfing patterns. If a red candle is followed by a green candle that totally engulfs it, both up and down, and its closing price is close to the top, then you identified a bullish engulfing pattern. And the price is more likely to go up since the buyers seem to be in control. The same applies to the bearish engulfing, only, you know, the other way around. Okay, now moving to more complex candlestick patterns, let's take a look at the head and shoulders. This is one of my favorite chart patterns and as the name states, sounds like uh, it looks sorry, like a human being. Uh, the entries are usually made after the first shoulder and the head and the neckline are identified and are based on the high probability of the market showing an almost sym symmetrical hand driving the price down. The same applies to the reverse head and shoulders, only to the other side. Okay, and the final candlestick patterns that we will cover today are the bear and bull flags. In case of a bear flag, after an impulse to the downside, we can see a small ascending formation that is likely to break to the downside. The entry is usually made after the base channel line is broken. In case of the bull flag, after the impulse up, we can see a small descending formation. After the top of the channel is broken, there is a high probability for the price to go up. Make sure to backtest these patterns for yourself to make sure that they are profitable to you and choose the one that best suits your trading style. Uh, so that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed my first from the beginning video and in the hopes that this content is useful for you, I ask you to support the channel by liking and subscribing. Until our next video, I wish you a nice weekend and happy trading. Bye-bye.